Hello, my name's David from Davro Digital and uh, this is just a little bit of a revisited uh, video in so much as we're going to take a look at applying a neutral density style filter but there's going to be one or two new twists as well. Okay, to make a start we're going to come to the background layer. Using Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC to duplicate the background layer. Dropping down to the effects icon for the layer styles, we're going to come down and we're going to click on Gradient Overlay. That brings up the layer style dollar box with, in fact, the gradient overlay. We've got black down the bottom. You can see there's a nice soft transition coming through to white at the top, but we're going to reverse this by ticking the box where it says reverse. So just putting the tick in there reverses it through nicely for us. Let's just move this a little bit out of the way. The next thing is we need to remove, you know, what I really want is sort of uh, black through to transparent. So coming through to the gradient, Clicking on this opens the gradient editor and that will allow us to put black to transparent. Click OK to that. You'll notice in it's popped. Looks pretty good. There's a nice soft transparency coming through there. And if we change the blend mode to soft lights, it looks even better. <laughs> right. Coming through and just moving this to the side a little bit more. You'll notice the cursor is a cursor style arrow here. Bringing it out, it becomes the move tool. This will allow us to come down and we can click and we can grab hold of our gradient. And we can move it up and down on the image like this so we can reposition it wherever we want. You can also use the opacity slider to take it back a notch or two. Perhaps just bringing it down. I'm just going to move the uh, styles, layer styles to this position here because if you come to scale, that's at 100%. If you move it back and forth, you'll notice the way we can actually adjust the scale. And you'll notice like a thin band of light coming through there, dropping this one down. This perhaps suits this image uh, like, yeah, that area there, That what we got. We got to 53. That suits this image pretty well. Just switching it on and off, you can see the difference that's making already. This is at the stage where... I've done this one a lot in talks recently and the more I look at it, the more I was beginning to think, hang on a second, if we just switch this on and off, yeah, it makes a fantastic job of that sky. But it's also affecting the clouds. So let's take a look. If we come to the blending options, what we're going to do is drop down to these arrows here. This is for the underlying layer. This is on the blending options, underlying layer, come into the slider here. I'm going to press and hold down the Alt or the Option key. So I'm holding down Alt or Option. That will enable me to split this cursor. You'll now notice, and I've released that Alt or Option key by the way, we've now got a gap in the middle and we can now drop this back. The more we take this back, you'll see those whites coming back into the image. That's the sort of thing I'm after. I want to darken down the sky, but I still want to maintain the brightness of those clouds. So just bringing this down, and this was the new twist. Once we've done that, we can click OK. And there it is. It's gone in as a gradient overlay, and you can see the difference that makes. Just gives a nice little bit of punch to the sky there. But there's more. If we double click, what we can now do, this is come back to the settings that we've actually put in there. Don't forget, you've also got the angle. So you can sort of angle your gradient as well. You can move that around so it's extremely flexible. I'm just going to swipe across. I'm going to put in 90 because it worked with that one. And uh, the next thing is to click this button here, New Style. We're going to set this up as a new style. So I'm going to put in ND-1. And we've included the layer effects. We've included the blending options. Don't forget, they were the ones we set up there. Click OK to that. Click OK. Job done. I can actually delete that because next time we want to sort of bring the same the neutral density filter in, we can just double click. This is a quick way of getting to the layer style is just double click on the thumbnail, coming through to this, clicking on the styles. There it is there. If you click on it, in it pops. You can also, once it's highlighted, you can right click, you can choose to rename it, you can delete the style as well. But clicking OK to that, you'll notice in it's popped and if we just double click on the gradient overlay, there's the figures we put in. So we can come in, we can make adjustments to this. You can come to the blending options. You can make adjustments to this for other pictures. Job done. I'll tell you what, let's come to this one here. We're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to use Command J or Control J to duplicate the background layer. We're going to double click on the thumbnail. Don't forget that's the quick way of going to our layer styles. Clicking on styles because we open on the blending options, clicking down, 
click in OK and there it is we've darkened down that sky we can now bring this back we might want to just change some bits and pieces depending on the tonal range of the image you are applying this to so just bringing this back what I'm looking for in this picture is getting them sort of detail out of the cloud area changing the scaling I think with the scaling on this one I need to come back to the default which is the 100 so just reducing the scaling slider if we come back to the sort of the blending options we can try this just pulling it back but no I think that does a pretty good job where it is like that click OK one further thing I want to do with this is sort of get more detail out of those clouds so coming to the adjustment layer it's off the screen but I'm clicking on selective color that opens the selective color adjustment layer the default is red we're going to change it to the drop down to white dropping down to black and if we move this across you'll notice the way I can add more punch to those whites that looks pretty good like that just switching it on and off there's the before there's the after And if we click back on our layer and you can see the way we can get the two to work together there nicely given a nice lot of sort of they are gone from that to that job done incidentally coming back to this one if we just switch this off you can of course come and this actually came up in a talk recently you can come down to gradient that applies the gradient you can see you've got still got the foreground to transparency clicking on reverse click OK to that let's just move the layers panel up there it is again choosing soft lights again reducing the opacity down yes you can easily use this one but you haven't got the flexibility that you have by using the layer styles so let's just switch that off for a second there it is go on give it a try until the next time happy imaging and take care